Yo, what up everybody? It's Stefan here from Mind to Fame and we are back with another video. Sunday morning, bright and early. The lineup is crazy. We going for a long ass drive, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's jump into it. Let's go. Yes, sir. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. What's up, brother? Dime, lo papo. Estoy bien. That's crazy. That's Yo, yo, what's up, Papo? What's up, brother? Ay, que linda. <laughs> what's going on, man? What's up, Mr. Event Organizer? What's going hey, what's on, good? brother? What's good, my the fans? Ah, you know, you know the listen, drill. We, Tell them what's going on today. Hey, listen, we out here, Fox Hall Rest Area, Cars and Cigars. Uh huh. Just want to let y'all know, best special thanks to my the fame. It's going down. We got the, the car lineup is sick. That it is. It that is it sick. is. It's gonna be a fun ride. Everyone's out here to enjoy themselves, and let's go. Let's what's get the it. purpose? What's the purpose? Why are we doing this? We doing this just to get together, bro. Oh, I like that. I like that. Bring great people and good friends together. Start a great relationship. Let's go. All right. <laughs> oh, look who's nice and clean. Wow. You ready for today, bro? Yes, thanks, sir. You ready for today? Am I ready for today? Yeah, it's a long ass think? drive, bro. It's a long ass drive. I got that E47 in there. How long, how fast does, so it burns slower than straight E85, right? It's a little bit slower. Little okay. Bit slower. So, how many miles can you get out of a tank with the mix of 93 uh, and like E85? 75, 200. You can get how much? Like 175 or 200 probably. The drive there is 173 miles. We're going to stop though, right? Yeah, we are going to stop. We are going to stop. Okay. So you're going to be good. This is his beast right here. We're going to review this, so I don't want to show too much. But, yeah, crazy C7 Z06. Uh, really modded, really nice. Uh, but I don't want to give you all the details. I don't want to give it all away. But just know that we're shooting a sick video of this. And part of the video is going to be to see if it could be Cheapo Kitty in a race. Crikey guys, there they are in the wild, GM guys admiring each other's horsepower. You got this guy here with a fully built VL1 making over 800 wheel horsepower. And then you have this guy with a C7 Z06 making over 650 wheel horsepower. So let's see what happens in the wild today. Both of them have called out the Hellcat. As a matter of fact, let's go in closer. Hopefully we don't get bitten. Excuse me, guys. What's up? The GM guys over here, <laughs> LT4 crew, they have called out the great and mighty Mopar. What do you have to say for yourself, sir? What do you have to say for yourself? Excuse me, what about you, sir? You're quite big, sir. You're quite big, sir. <laughs> Pause! Pause! Hey, you, know <laughs> you know what they call that guy there. What do they call they him? They call him Smalls. They call him They Jay. call this guy Smalls? <laughs> they call this... Hey, Smalls! <laughs> I'm Errol. Everyone calls me E on behalf of EMJ Motors. Let me give a special shout out, of course, to Tribeca Automotive. They're our sponsors for the brunch today. 
make sure you acknowledge and, and appreciate them, show them thanks. Big shout out to uh, my Fame for the support. Everyone that came from near and far. My boy B Villa, Louis Kano, my boy Gerald, George, Stefan, everybody. If I miss if I miss you, please is <laughs> Pardon me, Nori. Charge it to charge it to your head, not yeah, your heart. Absolutely, <laughs> and this bright ass sun out here because I'm, I'm I'm cooking. Yeah. So first and foremost, this is gonna be a it's gonna be a cruise. It's gonna be optional. However you wanna enjoy the ride, you enjoy the ride. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put everybody. I'm gonna send out the uh, the first drop or the first coordinate in a text to everyone, so that way you at least have the location for the first stop. Okay. I'm going to give a precursor warning. Please abide by all local safety and traffic laws. <laughs> EMJ Motors does not endorse any reckless driving. The camera crew is getting on the road. Help yourself to coffee. Again, if you've got any questions, please reach out. Ask me. Need anything. I'm here. You'll see uh, staff, they'll have EMJ Motors uh, shirts on. Um, anything you tag on IG today, please, I'm going to ask you to refrain from catching a highway sign and you're doing triple digits. <laughs> catching license plates at the same time because uh, some of us are... Uh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the you know, on the job. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Listen. I've rolled with my defame before. I rolled with a few of you guys. We obey the laws. You know what I mean? We obey all the laws. Listen, all of them. No problem falling back from the league. Right. Everything goes down in Mexico. So, again, thank y'all. Give yourself a round of applause for coming out on a Sunday morning. I know many of y'all had a rough night last night or enjoyable night last night. So, again, thanks. You look like it. Help yourself to water. <laughs> That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys. I want to talk real quickly about Rally Essentials. Um, things that you want to make sure that you look out for when on a rally, especially on a long drive. It's pretty hot outside today. I believe today outside is, it says it right there, 83 degrees underneath the tire pressures. Leading to our next point that you want to talk about. All right. Leading to the next point that I want to talk about, which is tire pressures. Uh, you want to always want to make sure that your tire pressures are optimal. I run mine on rallies a little hard uh, because... Uh, I don't I might not be able to see a bump stop for a bump or whatever the case may be and I'm on rubber band tires My tires are tiny. So that's something I always look for another thing that you want to watch very aggressively is your temperatures um, A lot of times when you're rallying with these cars They're doing like major numbers and stuff and you're just trying to keep up with the group uh, your temperatures could shoot up and you don't notice it because there's so much exhaust noise, so much happening around you. Something that you want to watch for. Another thing you always want to watch for is oil pressure. Uh, the good thing is the way that Porsche lays out its gauges, it makes sure that you have all that information readily available so that you could, uh, so that you can see it at the drop of a dime. And the other thing that you want to do is have your ways running, baby. <laughs> ways it is. Last thing I'm going to do right now is put it in sport mode. Y'all saw the sport come up, and then time to dig in.
All right, guys, so we made it to our first stop. We're here at our first stop right now. Everybody is having an amazing time obeying the laws, of course. But, man, we had some, we, we dipped off to Mexico, and we had some good runs. So the 720 ran up against both GM guys. The, the six, it ran up against the 660-wheel V06, and it ran up against the 800-wheel ZL1. Yeah, matter of fact, this is what happened. Cassie was in the car. <laughs> Tell him what you was doing as we was driving. Screaming. <laughs> Yo, she got a clip that I'm gonna try to insert for y'all right now. As a matter of fact, Cassie, let's show yeah, it to him. Let's, see, yeah. let's show it to him. Oh, look at Cassie work though. Look at that. What? Wow. What is this? Oh. Who? What is oh, that? Hot girl. It's a hot girl. Oh, so it's a hot girl summer for you? It's a hot girl summer. It sure is. Here we go. Okay. See. Look at her back though. Wow. Look I'm at sure that, y'all. She got skulls. Wow, putting in that work, Cassie. Well, look at her, look at her, listen. <laughs> Is that you screaming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that you screaming? I got the sound effects. Yo, she was screaming, y'all. Yo, that is funny as hell. Yo, you a good sport, though, Cassie. You a good sport. What'd you do, man? You, you had to find what type of gas? I had to put uh, six, uh, six gallons of 93 and eight gallons of... So, 19 miles away, you found it. How did you find this E85 in the middle of nowhere? What did you do? All fuel. There's an app? Yeah. All fuel app? Mm -hmm. And you can find E85 anywhere. All right, so the, so the GM guys want another run at it. They're going to go add more E85 and run from a higher roll and see if they could do better against the 720. But I'll be honest with y'all. I'll be honest with y'all. I don't I don't care what gas you get. I, that 720 is ridiculous, man. That car is ridiculous. No, no, no. I would never root against you, my brother. I wasn't rooting was against like, you. He was like, get him, get him. He said, all right, all right, George, yeah. Shut up. No, nah, I was definitely rooting for you the whole time, brother. Oh, man, I definitely fun. was. We made it to our destination, which is Fab Speed motorsports here in Pennsylvania I ain't gonna hold y'all that, that was a long drive it's a very it's a pretty long drive holy shit. that was a long drive